Dave, you organised this whole event. You're the one who brought us together. You you brought us here and gave us a theme to talk about. Why now? Why is it this stage? And why why wasn't this a discussion maybe two, three, four, five years ago? Why did it take George Floyd to uh, to make these things happen? That's a good question. <laughs> um, I think uh, last year with George Floyd, it got really visible for everybody. And I mean, we've all experienced certain things, but you know, if you don't have that experience, you don't know about it. Um, and I think that really was the the, the, the fuse that brought us together. And um, yeah, okay. okay, thank you. Yeah. Nordi, you know, Antoine has mentioned the changes that he's experienced over the last few years. He mentioned how when he was here the first time, he was like one of a very small minority. He's mentioned since then since the things have changed. Tony's just said that George Floyd was the one who really gave us his kick. What do you think, well, what do you hope is going to happen out of this? What would you like to see change? I would say that what I would like to change is the communication from how people would speak to person of color when they know that they have a chance to enter and to bring the most loving positivity to these people to say, come, I'll be that guy coming with you. I'm gonna be with you all night. I'll be there to take care of you. You will have a blast. The Fetisin is a beautiful family. It's a second uh, coming out itself. It's already a fight on itself. So I would say that for the entire fetish community, and especially through uh, the media, change, for so many of you, change the way you speak, the way you place your no fat, no fame, no Asian, what you consider a preference. How do you consider that, let's say, excluding other people and call it preference is actually a thing. It's not a thing. It never was. And this should stop. Cool. Antoine, um, we mentioned before that earlier that Recon has actually been recently very, very active on, on this. I mean, you've actually you've got the, the podcast that you do where you've discussed these things, and actually your team has been at Recon, also very intercultural, interracial. Um, how is the, how, what has the response been like? I mean, what kind of feedback have you been given, have you got from the steps that you've taken so far? The response has been really quite mixed and I would probably, some of it has been quite shocking, um, but maybe it's a bad thing to say that I'm not surprised that it has been mixed. I think we all come out and I think at the end of the day, the thing that we have to remember, the thing that brings us together is our love of kink. So there is something that we all have in common. And sometimes this is forgotten. I think people forget that behind the kink, behind that gear, there is another person. And I think the concept of humanity and empathy sometimes I think gets lost when we think about what actually makes this community a whole, which makes us kinky, the thing that actually brings us all together on a day like today for this fair. Um, one of the things that has been really quite interesting. When we started putting, uh, I remember the first time we put an Asian guy on an ad, people were absolutely hysterical. This is not what a fetish man should look like. And I'm thinking, then what should a fetish man look like? This is a really hot guy. He just happens to be Asian, but he's an absolutely fucking filthy kingster. So why are you telling me that this is not what a fetish man should look like? Because this is an ideal picture of a fetish man. Um, you know, we put out a statement a while ago about the Black Lives Matter movement. We produce our issue three magazine. You might see it around in the bars and shops and please, if you see it, pick it up. We talk a lot about this issue as well. And there are people who say, you know, I'm not here for this. I'm here to fuck. Why don't want to talk about race issues and anything else. But if we don't talk about these things, we never actually move the community forward. We naturally ever bond together as people so it's really important as much as we want to fucking have fun and have our kinky fun we need to talk about the thing that actually binds us together cool Tony, I've noticed in Wings actually that you've had more and more adv advertisements also with people of colour, yeah? 
what do you think we can do to get more people of colour into the community to start with? Because that's the first thing, is bringing people, first of all, to, to welcome them into, into the community, and then to get them actively involved. Which steps do we need to take from the inside? And that means a whole community together. Yeah, I think uh, communication is key, uh, and it starts indeed with the media, like we're going to do, like we are doing. Um, and yeah, talking to each other, and also asking questions, and you know, make it um, make it okay to talk about it. Because a lot of people shy away from the subjects. Um, you know, ask your friends, uh, your black friends, or uh, whatever occasion, uh, to come to an event. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And that brings me on to the point of allies, because I think Nordine had mentioned the word ally. I think even before we came on, you mentioned about getting allies. How can we encourage allies to people to, to join in, to support, and offer other people support in this scene? I would say that just to start with, an ally do not fetishize a race. An ally do not dehumanize someone. An ally takes a person for a person. An ally will know that it's the personality first. As he said, Antoine said, we all come in because we have something in common. That common should be blessed and cherished. By this idea, bring your friend with you. Tell them that they have a lovely family here waiting for them. Be there with them and celebrate this. And actually, there's nothing more beautiful than celebration. And this is what we do right uh, cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can I ask you, can I invite you please to make a conclusive statement, Antoine, about what you're taking away with you back to London from this force from Europe as a person of colour? Um, those people here, some of you might know, we started doing a podcast last year um, during the pandemic. We also started doing online events. And one of the things I thought that was really important for us to do was to actually talk about this issue. So we have a podcast on being black, gay and kinky, being Asian and kinky. Um, there's more to come. Um, we also have a uh, video from an online panel discussion I did, which is on our YouTube channel, also about being uh, black and kinky on the scene. In our latest magazine, my stance on it is to talk about empathy and visibility and humanity. And I think we need to remember that these are really important things. Um, one of the things I talk about is people like myself, like you guys up here, and even people out there, the title holders. Some of you, even other people standing in the audience, you may have jobs or do something or know other people where you have the ability to talk about things. And if you have a platform, then please use that platform. The thing I say is if you have a voice, you should use it and you should use your voice for good. Let your voice be for the good of this community, the things that will improve us and make us better. One of the things you need to use your voice and your platform for is to talk about this issue of race and discrimination on our scene. And I'd like to see more people talking about it. Thank you. Tony, what are you good apart from this fantastic equipment and the Mr. B merchandise and everything to do with Mr. B, what will you be taking back to Amsterdam with you from Folsom Europe 2021 with to do with this theme? What I, I want to see this moment uh, as a starting off point because it's great that we're doing this, but I would like the conversation to continue. So also what Mr. B we're talking about. Uh, continuing the conversation, whether it's in the Wings magazine or uh, Zoom panels or whatever. Um, so yeah, I see it as a start. In the you're all welcome to join. Cool, and well, thank you actually for organizing, for bringing us here. Cool, thank you. Yeah. And Nordine, except for obviously some more fantastic, really mega hot outfits, what will you, you be taking back to Brussels with you from Fossum Europe 21? Well, um, I guess the amount of friends that I've uh, seen so far, but also realizing, as I say, it's a fetish, I like to use the fetish family. Every year after years, you grow in friendship with people you get more intimate, you can actually speak up more about actually those subjects we have. And I would take with me all these good moments that always tells you that beyond being gay, down beyond fetish and all the layers you have, so many good people are here. Please keep your minds open always to exchange ideas. And that's it, wise up.
Oh, super. Is how can people get in touch with you if they have any questions? How can they follow you for any further information? What can these guys here do, or their friends, or uh, family members, whatever, to reach you? How can they get in touch? Well, for me, it's really simple. Um, social at recon.com, or you can always write to us on the Instagram channel or the Twitter channel. I answer them all these days. So it's really easy to send us a message and get uh, feedback. That's one thing that's always been really good. Every time we put something out, we get a barrage of messages. So it's nice to also understand how people think. So please always send your feedback. We welcome it. Good and bad. I may swear at you if the bad ones come, but sometimes we need those to improve. So please send them. <laughs> Thank you. You. Tony, how can we reach you if we have any questions? Um, well, go to mrbwings.com or uh, find me on Instagram, socials, uh, Twitter. Uh, pick up a Wings magazine near around the corner. Uh, okay, thank you. And last but not least, Nodi. Yeah, yeah, via uh, Mr. Mr. B. Instagram and via Mr. B. Um, and uh, in your town, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. You. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us this evening Thank on this fantastic Mr. B stage. We're going to continue in a few minutes with a second panel discussion, and then there comes a photo shoot, and then you get the chance to have a bit of a boogie. But see you in a couple of minutes again. Thank you very much.